last time we were able to actually get all the information displaying in our profile and now we have the ability to edit that information. Now we're ready to move on to kind of the next part of the app. And the next part of the app I wanna work on is the image sharing section. So right now we have no images in our profile and we need to have the ability to actually add images. So in this kind of middle section here in Instagram, there used to be tabs at the top, but I think they moved them to the bottom uh, recently. There is tabs so that you can switch between a photo fragment and I think a gallery fragment. So you can choose a photo from memory, in other words, or you can choose a photo to use your camera to take a new photo. There's also an, uh, a video capture part, but we're not gonna do video. We're just gonna stick with images. Okay, so the first thing, actually let's close all this before we get started here. We don't need all this stuff open. Uh, oh, search activity is not even where we want to be. We want to be in share activity. So the first thing we want to do is, because in this activity we're going to be concerned with sharing media. So we need to check a whole bunch of permissions before we do anything. We need to check uh, write external storage, read external storage, and also the camera permissions. And I can't remember if I added those to the manifest. No, I didn't. So let's actually start by doing that. So the first one will be, we already have internet, so we need uh, camera. The next one will be uses permission read external storage and also uses permission uh, write external storage and that should be the only ones we need and uh, let's create another utility class here um, I'm gonna call it permissions and inside permissions we're gonna create all of the permissions that we need so public uh, static final string so I need to give it a name, this is, so I'm just going to call it permissions, and inside of here I'll put all the permissions. So the first one will be manifest.permission.write external storage, and then manifest.permission.read external storage, and manifest.permission.camera. And that'll be it. Those are, those are the only ones that we need as of right now. So that's cool, we can close the manifest, we can close our permissions class. Note that I made this public. If you don't make it public, you're not gonna be able to access it from different classes. So we can close that. And I, it's been so long since I've been in um, main act. Do we even have a main activity in this project? We don't have a main activity. Our main activity is the home for activity. So I just wanna check if I made a method here for checking permissions. No, I didn't. So that's fine. I can make them in share activity. Uh, if what I said just made no sense, I was pretty much literally talking to myself and uh, talking myself through it. Okay, so the, the logic that we're going to do here is right when the activity starts, we want to check permissions. So uh, I'm going to create a method called check permissions array, and that's going to take all of the permissions. So I can do permissions dot permissions. Those are, I'm referencing the permissions that we just created in our permissions class here. That's getting this variable right here. So we want to check the permissions array, see if they're all um, all confirmed, and then if they're not, then we need to confirm them. So we'll make another method called verify permissions, and we'll also pass that permissions array. So in other words, we're saying check to see if the permissions are allowed. If they are, we can do we can carry on with our day, <laughs> we can do uh, whatever we were going to do. Actually, we're not even going to need this setup bottom navigation because we're getting rid of that. Anyway, um, we can carry on with our activity or our code, and if they haven't been verified, then we need to verify them. So let's uh, make those two methods. So we'll start by creating the method uh, check permissions array. So public boolean check permissions array, and that's going to take an array of permissions. So we'll just call it permissions, and we can log it. So checking permissions array, just to let us know the user know that it started. And now we're going to loop through each one of the permissions that are inside the array. So i is less than permissions.length and then i++. Plus plus. And we can do a string check equals a single permission. So that's going to be permissions uh, i. So we just want that single permission. And then we can say if not check permissions or not check not check permissions and we pass that single check then we want to return false and if not then we will just return true 
And so this method right here is going to check a single permission. This one is just as it sounds. It's a permission check permissions array. It checks an array of permissions. But then we need to pass it to a different method that's going to check a single one. And we're going to loop through that. So public boolean check permissions. And once again, we take an array. Actually, we don't need to take an array. We can just take a single permission. Checking permission and integer permission request. Check self permission, share activity dot this, and then we want to pass that single permission there. And then if permission request does not equal package manager dot permission granted, so if the permission hasn't been granted, then we can say, um, we can just say, Oops. Permission was not granted for. What did I get up there? Uh, permission. And then we want to return false in that case. And otherwise, if we do manage to get through, then we would just return true. Uh, and we could say that it was granted, I guess. So let me do a message. Permission was granted for that. Cool. And we don't need to do that. That does not need to be an array. It can just be a string. You're checking a single permission. So check a single permission if it has been um, accepted, verified, I don't know, verified, I guess. And then this one will be check an array of permissions. OK, so now we just need to make our verify permissions method. and. I'm pretty sure I've made this in other activities. I just can't remember where. So um, I'm just going to have to write it out again, I guess. But this is kind of a general method. I actually made a uh, YouTube tutorial on specifically this, how to verify permissions in Android after Marshmallow. So all you do is you pass uh, permissions array. And we can just say uh, verif verifying permissions. And it's really easy. So activity compat request permissions, and then you just pass the context and then the permissions array and then the request code. And the request code isn't important. You can kind of make that whatever you want. It's only important if you're uh, using a on activity result or on request permission result, which actually we are going to use. So maybe I will make a global variable up here. Let's do. Uh, Constants, private, static, final, uh, verify, permissions, request, equals one. I forgot to call it an integer though. So we can just take that and let's put that in for our request code here. And so now if we go up here, we have our logic is actually the red is not highlighted. so. When the activity starts, it'll check the permissions array. If there's any permissions that were not granted, then it'll this uh, will return false, and therefore this else statement will get executed, and it will ask the user to verify those permissions. So that's going to be uh, a good place to stop. Actually, let's test it first. That's always a good idea. Okay, so we're going to go over to the share section here, and it says allow Instagram to record pictures and video. Yep and then allow it to access your internal storage. So there we go. That's how we are going to handle that. And in the next one, we're going to move on with setting up the tabs and uh, yeah, probably setting up the tabs. So I'll see you guys in the next video.